Hello everyone, Crystal Kitsune85 here with another Let's uh, Learn Minecraft of the Minecraft tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be talking about wood and what you can do with wood and the different types of wood and ultimately uh, how to build a little house and how to store your stuff. So let's get started with types of wood. Now this is oak wood. It's light in color like this and the leaves are nice and green and when you turn them into planks this is what they look like. And this here is spruce wood like what we have here in the background. It looks like this and it comes into a nice darker color when it's um, made like into planks. This here is um, uh, birch wood uh, but with the white and the black and then it turns into this really white colored stuff here light colored stuff and this here is jungle wood it's it's a really weird looking texture here in the deep vault package but um, the, it turns into this kind of pinkish orangish colored wood here um, that's the different kinds of wood um, that you can find and what it looks like when you're um, looking in the different areas and stuff. Um, this is glass here. This is what glass looks like and it's made by smelting sand. You pick up sand with your shovel and then you stick it in your um, your box here and it turns into glass. And there in the distance is a small house that I made to show you of the very basic of a shelter when you go to make make one. Um, basically you just need to cover up a nice little uh, area, put a door in the front, and cover the windows. You don't even have to have windows really, but I put windows in it, and a roof so that way nothing can get in. Make sure to always close your door when you enter and exit because mobs like to come into your house um, when you leave the door open. And um, it's ultimate uh, good to get a bed as well. Um, a bed is when you're in your um, crafting table you um, I don't actually have any wool on me but um, to do the crafting table you put uh, three wood down like this and then you put three wool up here and then it turns into a bed. This is actually a slab but you don't need to worry about that. And, and um, this is a pressure plate. Um, whenever you step on it, it opens things, so you can put them in front of your doors and on the inside, and when you step on it, it will open, and then when you leave, it will close the door. Um, so, that's, this is the wood. So, when you, when you chop it and you put it into, um, planks like this, you can build things with it. And you can build houses. You can build bridges, docks, you know, any kind of thing like that. Crafting tables, um, tools, uh, doors. Doors are not that hard to make. Doors are actually really simple. You take this whole side right here. So you go um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you got a door. And you can make them side by side. So you what you do is you place one here on this square and then you place another one right next to it and it will make a double door um, and the other thing that you can make are chests chests are built the, in, um, the recipe is the same exact way as a uh, uh, furnace you put your wood in to a box like this with the one in the middle and you get a chest and then you take it back and you can have chests small chests like this get in the door you have a small chest like this which has this amount of space in it you've got three by nine and you can it's basically the size of your actual inventory so you can put all the stuff in here but if you actually get a lot of stuff and you want to have more room you just have to place another chest, a small chest, right next to the the little one. It'll turn into a big chest, and then it 
doubles your space, so you got plenty, plenty, plenty of room. So you can store in your ball, your snowballs, your sticks, your uh, seeds, and your dirt, and your leather. You want to keep your food, um, and your trees, and your sand, and your doors. Anything that you have that you don't want to carry around with you, and in case you happen to uh, get killed, then you won't lose your stuff. You your stuff actually, unless you're in hard mode. When you're in hard mode, you you die. But um, uh, wherever you die, that's where your stuff will be. So if you can get back to where you died, you can recollect your stuff. But sometimes it's not always that easy because you can die in some really far away place from where you spawn. Your spawn point is, and then you wouldn't be able to get back in time because I think there's only like a five minute uh, period before your stuff goes away. So there's that and torches I put these here when you're in a cave it will most likely kind of look like this when you're um, got the torches going um, the recipe for torches is so simple you don't even have to actually have to use your crafting table you can just do it right there in yours and uh, hold down shift and right, uh, right click and you'll get torches and torches are good for deterring uh, mobs because it makes light so all you have to do is right click on a flat surface, um, a flat wall like this, and you'll go to torch, um, place there, um, walls will do it, you can put them on to wood like this, but you can't put them on leaves, it won't let you put them on leaves, um, you can put them on wood, you can actually put them on the ground, um, you can put them on sand, it will just make it stick out of the ground like like a tor like a tiki torch, um, but you can't do them like upside down. You can't put them like up here. So like, if you have um, a ceiling here, you can't put them on the ceiling. So it doesn't do work that way. But you can put them here and here, and it'll light up your area. Um, torches are actually really important to have because of the fact that you know they can help uh, be like a bread uh, breadcrumb trail. Um, when you're exploring, you can stick a, um, a piece of uh, wood or stone down and stick the, sto the um, torch on top of it like that and then just keep going. You can go like this and you can put another one down and it will light up your way as you're going along so that way if it's dark all you have to do is follow the lights and you'll get back to where you're at. It's good to do do like um, a big pillar type of thing. So like if you had, um, I don't have, my, oh, I do have my tools on me. I just put them away. Um, if you stick a large thing out of the sky and put thingies on it. Uh, torches on it, then it would be able to be seen from a long distance away. So, if you got onto your house, the top of your house, and um, made a nice big uh, uh, nice mirror. Okay, you're on top of your house. You put your your wood on top of the uh, top of the house. You actually want to put uh, torches on top of any flat surface, um, kind of like this anyway, because if you don't, you'll get spiders and stuff up here. Dang it! I didn't want to do that. See, I'm noobing out right now. Um, you build a long tower of stone or wood or something, and then. Uh, put stuff on top of it so you get like way up here where um, it's above the trees and a good tip if you're on top of something really really high and you want to look over the edge of anything go back forward left or right um, hold down the shift key a lot of people do not know this tip and a lot of people have fallen to their doom in lava or or anything of the like 
and died um, because they did not know the shift uh, holding shift tip so if I'm on top of this thing if I were to fall um, down there it would hurt me a lot if I wasn't on the safe mode type thing the peaceful mode um, but you hold down shift and go back and you can see the side of your your tower here and then all you have to do is put um, porches all around and then you've got a nice little beacon for um, finding your way back home. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump down here because that's all I can do anyway. Um, but yeah, don't want to make it too high because then if you fall then you will die, but a nice uh, beacon for finding your way home is a good idea. A lot of Minecrafters who play um, Let's Play uh, series, one of them that I know, um, when he was exploring did pillars like this and was able to find his way back pretty efficiently. So go ahead and do that while you're on an adventure. So if you were like all the way over here on the island, I don't can't, see, can't see it very well, but it's like right over there. If you were on the island, you could see all that light from over there if you had a really good distance on your game. So, um, yeah. So that's basically all about wood. Um, trunks are, are very helpful for storing stuff because your inventory will get full. That's just gonna happen. Um, you can start off with one because when you're starting out you actually don't really need that much space but once you start exploring into caves and you know looking for stuff and getting loots and stuff then you will be wanting more space in your in your little um, house I mean you can make more elaborate houses than this I just did a basic house for for the night um, so like if it was dark in a real game and you were like had mobs all around here then you would be all like wanting to be in this nice little safe little house and ultimately you would put your crafting table and your um, uh, furnace in here as well so that way you didn't have to go outside for anything you could just craft and, and all the like in there another way of um, you could do the same basic principle inside a cave you just have like the cave entrance be here with a, with a couple doors or a door and then the rest of this would be rock you wouldn't have windows or anything because it would be down under the ground and then when it was dark you could just sit around and and piddle your thumbs or you could get a pick out and start picking away um yeah so that's the tutorial for this is wood and what you can do with wood and and that sort of stuff um if you have any any particular uh th subjects that you want me to cover go ahead and leave a comment and i will uh give it a look and see what I can do about that subject um, and hopefully these these tutorials are being helpful um, and I'm not rambling too much uh, if you have any any questions about anything else leave them in the comments below if you like this tutorial series give it a like uh, tell your friends if they're wanting to get into Minecraft too and uh, look forward to the next episode in the meantime I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.